Supposedly somewhere around here are the lost games of the jungle hunt. This will not be easy. safari, all I could manage to find were, well, these games. Jungle Hunt, actually one game really, Jungle Hunt on the 2600 and also for the 5200. I'll bet you the 5200's graphics look great, but you know what? Probably won't even be able to play it at all because of the, you know, the clunky controllers. However, I should be able to play the 2600 version without fail, so what do you say we get started? Okay, what do you say we get started here? Mm -hmm. You gotta swing through these vines, <clears throat> and you gotta be careful on these vines. You gotta make sure you grab them, and each one you grab, well, yeah, your score advances. But they also have to be properly timed. I mean, the vine practically has to be swinging away from you uh, for some reason. And yeah, you're given some kind of shotgun, I guess, to kill the alligators. By the way, I just realized this part of the review ought to be, well, in remembrance of all those children that were killed by alligators recently down south. Wow, I got him. That surprised me. <clears throat> but you gotta make sure that you keep your head above water if you can, or at least tread like this. That way you don't run out of oxygen real fast. Yeah, I know, I can't say oxygen in a sentence, okay? So sue me. Alright. So now I gotta jump over the boulders. The small boulders, not a problem. The larger ones, well, they have to be timed just right. Yes, your jumps have to be perfectly timed on these boulders, like that one. And that was a bad example, sorry. Oh, right. Let's try this again, here we go. Man, I guess you could duck them, but what good would that do? Oh, cool, I actually got over that one. I thought for sure that one would hit me. Alright, here comes the interesting part. Nope, can't duck under this guy at all. I have to jump over him somehow. Can I do it? Hey, I got it! But there's still one or two more that I gotta jump over. This is not going to be easy. Hey! Oh, look, I got to the girl. Cool. This game is easier than I thought. Watch the numbers go up, and it starts all over again, I guess. And yeah, there's really only three levels to this, and well, if you finish all three of them, yeah, great. So what? You start all over again. There we go. Oh, hell, I missed. really that's how this game is played. It's as simple as that. So there it was, the 2600 version of Jungle Hunt. It's pretty good and, well, easier than I remember it being. You know, so this one's actually quite enjoyable. But now here comes the real test, playing it on the 5200. And I'll bet you that's not going to be easy because of... because of this thing. <laughs> I wish the archaeologist took more time to unearth this a little better. 
<laughs> well, since I can't really play it because the controller is a piece of crap, I can only show you what the demo screen is like. And if you think I do bad at this game at times, well, just check out this demo screen. It doesn't even try. But this is just to give you an idea of what the graphics look like. Sure, the graphics may look a whole lot better, but you've got to keep in mind that, well, better graphics don't always make for a better game. And boy, is that true here. Let's see. Jungle Hunt for both the 2600 and the 5200. Both games overall are actually quite good. The 5200, of course, has a lot of problems. The graphics look great, don't get me wrong, but better graphics don't always make a better game. And so, I gotta say, yeah, the 2600 one is probably the most preferable, maybe and the most playable. <clears throat> if you can somehow find a used video game store in your hometown, Pick this one up. It's pretty enjoyable. This one, I wish I could say more about it, but the controller wouldn't allow me to play the damn thing. So that's what my safari has led me to. Well, this is the Atari guy saying, I'm off for another adventure. <laughs>